Ladies and gentlemen, my name is Nick. Welcome to another first try. Today we are going to take a look at Toxic Bunny HD. What is Toxic Bunny HD? Well, Toxic Bunny, to say the least, is a action platformer which was released in the year 1996. And it was originally developed for DOS machines and Celestial thought, well, we could make an HD remake, which evidently they just did. After porting it to Java and releasing it in 2012, it is now ported to Unity 1.3 and released on Steam as well, after going through Greenlight. So, first off, the game on the store page says it has full controller support. I say nope. This is ev evidently not the case. Even after doing the Informatics 101 to fix this problem, which was plugging out the controller and plugging it in again while the game was running, I couldn't get my controller to work, which is recognized by every other game and that I use. So there is one little issue, especially with platformers, because I would love to play them with a controller, but yeah, it is what it is. So, before we go into the game, we take a look at the options menu. The controls are fully rebindable, and we have secondary buttons as well, which is relatively nice in my opinion. Then you can change the resolution if you so desire. One little problem I have here is that. Sometimes key inputs are not really recognized sometimes and here we don't have a scrolling if we go down. I have to scroll it with the mouse wheel, which is also not that great. The graphics options, well, it is a Unity game, so low, uh, low medium and high, so you can't expect more than that. And the volume, you can change it separately if you so desire. So, into the game we go. We don't need to do the tutorial because we are pros and we do it on easy. And here you have your story. Here we go, ladies and gentlemen, welcome. We are in the game. And as you can see, if you have seen um, original gameplay footage from the original Toxic Bunny, you notice the animation is exactly the same. The main difference is though that you have updated sprites. And a little bit fancy look here, looking graphics. So, with, sp with shift you can sprint. And other than that, you move around using WASD or the uh, directional keys. So, yeah. You can do that. Now I've grabbed the anchor and we navigate through the level. The green arrow is basically showing you where to go. And if you don't know that you have to wait up here until he gets to you. That you can get the gun. Then you basically lose a lot of time. But it's basically here on the description of the quest. <laughs> so... We blast our way through here and we go on to the level. One thing that I've noticed while playing this level, I've played through this level uh, once and if you don't do it the way the programmers intended it to go, um, 
then the arrow might show you the wrong direction. Because it seems to me that this is hard coded and not uh, actually dynamically reacting to the way you do the quests. But that's just a little side note and... If you're dependent on the arrow, it might disturb you more, but I think it's it's relatively okay. The game is beatable even without the arrow, to say the least. Well, what is what else is there to say? Um, you basically have three lives, as you can see, and the combat is relatively simplistic. Now that I have my gun, it's... A little bit spammy, to say the least. I stand there and shoot. That's basically what I do. And here we had, for example, a little issue because I don't know, but it should hit these enemies. But there seems to be a little bit of a problem again with the hitboxes as we've had it in case of a glitch. But it's not the worst thing in this game. That's for sure. So, another thing with hitboxes is pickups. Sometimes, you, if you take a closer look to it, uh, you see that I really run through some of these pickups and they don't get picked up because hell if I know. <laughs> maybe, maybe there's an internal cooldown. Uh, on picking up stuff, because it, as far as I can tell, it mostly happens when I pick up a lot of stuff, right, uh, in, a sh in a short period of time. That's what to say. And yeah, for completionists, this might be a little bit, uh, yeah, disturbing if you have to go over items several times in order to pick them up. It's not really. I should have said that convenient is that good to be honest. So if I if I knew the path I Where did I go last time? Ah, I think there it was. Yeah. Also, yeah, sometimes as you can see If you don't really try it and don't run through, uh, through it with full speed, how would you know that you get through that? It's a design decision. Don't get me wrong, but uh, in my opinion, it's a bad design decision, and I just died here. Just to show you how I am excited this game. No, I am good, so. Okay. So now we don't... I think we don't do it the intended we know. So let's go a little bit just for it first. And what might put a lot of people off is the way how um, momentum is handled. It's really basically in the old style of platforming. With a different sense of speed and uh, gravity. It is in how this platform is. And that really might put some people off just because they don't feel well doing it, you know. They don't need to kill this guy. Uh, come on, get on here. Um. So. Yeah, sometimes it happens that you... Sometimes it really ha it's really weird. Sometimes it really happens that you get the speed as if you were running. And sometimes it just doesn't recognize that you just run, uh, ran some moments ago. So, 
Yeah. There we have a little problem. What is the inventory bar or use inventory? I didn't find that key. In the controls. And hence I can't do that extra thing. Well, it's a shame, but yeah. Another issue that you might see no, or not see in this case, we have to take a look. Uh, look. We take we have to take a look at it a little bit later. Is that the off-screen detection is not working in this game. So if enemies are off-screen and you shoot them, it won't take any damage. So that is a little bit of a problem. <gasps> Whoop. And there we have also our first boss fight. In order to watch his abilities, we have to run around fast. Otherwise, he will instantly kill you or not spawn at all. There we have him. Okay. Also, a little bit weird. So, we have to go around here. And we go around here. In the case of boss fights, it might, it works, it seems to work, but with well, normal enemies, it, it didn't seem to work because either they take less damage, or I don't know. So there it goes down, and we got the keys. And as you can see, the direction of the arrow immediately changed as if I uh, had everything together. Because it was the last thing that the developer intended to do in Come on. He doesn't block them when I shoot him. That is famous. So there are several issues in the game. Some are minor, some are not so minor. They are bigger, in fact. So yeah. The game consists of four stages. If that is the correct in the HD remake, at least in the original version it was that way. And yeah, each level I would say, at least the first level, uh, lasts a good 20 to 30 minutes. And so. Without doing any everything, um, you would have a raw playtime of about two hours, two to three hours, for example. I would say. Yeah, and coming to the next issue I have is press shop to shop. There is no shop button, therefore. I have to use the mouse. Not good. Really not good. If this game is supposed to have full controller support, I don't see me using the shot with the controller alone because I need the mouse to navigate to the button. This is not what it's supposed to be, especially take a look at that again. I've taken out the battery and should defeal Move Red again. Uh, this is a minor inconvenience, as I've said before, but it's still an error. And it's distracting as well. So. That was the wrong one. I'll finish this level first and then we come to a conclusion. Again the wrong way, come on. Oops. down here. <coughs> yeah. So, there we go. The last part we need is goo and the fuel tank. 
so we go down here, the bat cave. Ow. And we take a little bit of fall damage as well. Also, no issue running on the ground. You don't take any damage, or at least a uh, negligible amount. So then we need to find some goo. Ow, oh, come on. As I've said, the feeling of momentum and gravity and physics in general in this game are not what you would expect from a modern title, to say the least. But you can call it a uh, stay true to the original. If you so desire. Some people might call it developer laziness, but. So we have everything we got, and. No. Yes. Go there. Dance around. Come on, no. This is not where I wanted to go. At all. <coughs> Try again. At least the level design is relatively well, and but this is the accomplishment of the original. So after. Putting everything together. Here we are, the mill machine. And there we go. First level done. <sighs> well, what else is there to say? It is 6 euros for the original equivalent currently on Steam. Funnily enough, on the Zora it is 8 euros or the original equivalent, so. I don't know about the pricing at all. And also, I clearly took my life here. That needs a little, uh, at least a little bit of fixing. I'm not saying it has to work every time, but at least most of the time. I can feel my... My completionist part of me is breaking down currently. <laughs> so yeah. Is it worth the money? And from what you've seen and from what I felt about playing this game is I would say no. It is not worth the six euros, it is definitely not worth the eight euros and I would wait for a discount of 50% so that I can get it for three euros or even a little bit less. The soundtrack is, by the way, uh, exactly the same as the original. Maybe they use the different encoding, but yeah. So, that's that, ladies and gentlemen. That was the wonderful Toxic Bunny HD. My name has been Nick, ladies and gentlemen, and this game wiped. And I shall see you next time.